Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wilkie, and I'm back with some fake Grand Order North American version. That's right, I am back to... Oh man, it's gonna bug me. One moment. Alright, I'm back. At some point, I accidentally screwed up the video capture exact proportion thingy, and sometimes Fogo is a little bit off-center and it really bugs me, but <laughs> anyway, we're back here at the Enmite. I have already finished this event a long time ago. At this point, I'm just waiting for my last remaining tribute points. Um... I think I should be able to get everything by the end of it. I'm pretty sure. Let me see. 500,000 will give me 4,000. Then. See, in the three more days. Let me see. I have. Wait. Four more days. One, two, three, four. That'd be 200,000. Yes, I started the event a little bit late, but I will just be able to barely make it to the very end of the Emite point ladder. Um, but that's not what today's video is about. Today's video, I'm going back to farm for some of the wood things, which is stuff I basically have been saving till the end. I've basically been taking a very long break from specifically the North American version of the game, um, because I wanted a breather. I don't, I don't know how anyone else was for this one. I don't know if I mentioned it either, by the way. If you end up liking this video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. It helps the video channel. I hope everything good. But in order to get to this event, you have to beat Lost Belt 3. So I beat Lost Belt 3 in... Well, let me start with this, the whole turn of events here, and you tell me what happened. So I did a video specifically talking about, like, oh man, you need to be able to beat Lost Belt 3. That's what you need to do. Um, and for the most part, that's 100% what you have to do. You have to beat the entirety of Lost Belt 3. Here's what my dumbass did. Someone in the comments said... It, uh, you don't have to beat all of Lost Belt 3, you only need to beat Chapter 3 of Lost Belt 3. It says right there, Chapter 3, Lost Belt 3, and I said, oh man, does it say that? I guess that's what you have to do, and I guess you don't actually have to beat all of Lost Belt 3. And I said, okay, that's cool. Um, so I guess I can just ignore it. Now here's the first thing. Um, the person in the comments was correct. They did, in fact, say you need to be, um, you need to be, um, Chapter 3 of Lost Belt, uh, something. One moment, because I have to focus on this, because there might be a chance I won't fully kill the snake. There we go. Um, you do, in fact, have to beat Chapter 3 of Lost, Lost Belt 3, something like that. Let me see if I can find the exact wording of it. Just because the exact wording of it is really dumb, and the more I looked at it, I lost the internet. Oh man, that's great. I love it when I'm in this dumbass house who randomly loses internet. It totally doesn't inconvenience me at every single given day at any given single time, like it is currently. Um, Alright, one moment, because I need to beat up these cocks and this Cleopatra. Come here. Come here. Yeah, I should be able to easily beat her. Okay. So let me check up good old Go News NA. Go to the website. So in its exact words, it says, Master who have fulfilled the following conditions may participate. Clear part two. Chapter 3, Lost Belts Number 3, The Synchronized Intellect Nation, Sin, Crimson Beauty Under the Moon. Um, so obviously it, do it does actually say there, hey, oh yeah, be Chapter 3, Part 2. Um, so for a while I was like, oh, you know what, that must be right, because they worded it like this, that must be actually true. So I just took that guy at his face value, he said, you know, I'm still going to beat the entire thing just in case, but... The way it's worded it sure makes it seem that way, and I was like, you know what? Based on this wording, you're totally right. So I was able to, I, I got really relaxed, and sometime between um, the final two days, I looked at Lost Belt 3, I was like, did I actually beat Chapter 3? Let me check. And then I checked, and it turns out that in Lost Belt 3, they don't call, they don't call it a chapter. The specific missions you do in there, it's called something else completely. I forget what it's called. But they never used the word chapter. And it was at that point I realized, oh wait, I'm a fucking moron. I forgot that it says specifically part two, chapter three, Lost Belt number three. We are... <laughs> chapter three is 
Lost belt number three is what they were saying in that specific um, instance. So with, the, with two days to go, I said, shit, and I quickly went to go beat absolutely all of spell three in basically a day. And it was a hell of an experience. In, in two days, basically, I finished the uh, I finished Lost Belt three right on the first day of the event, um, so I didn't lose any grinding time or anything. But it was a uh, it was sure as hell a hand a hassle to do all that stuff. And then after I did all that stuff, I then had to play this event and do a lot of the story stuff. And a lot of the story stuff is super annoying. That fight with um, Musashi. Um, Sucks ass. The one where it specifically says, "Hey, by the way, use a d the only one that can deliver the final blow is this fucking deer mood that you, this saber deer mood that you get from the story, and only he can do the final blow. Otherwise, she gets unlimited guts. That sucks. So it had just been a nonstop onslaught of just shitty, shitty boss fights that I've been basically playing. Because that's also what um, Lost Belt Three is. It's a bunch of boss fights. So." I kind of took a deep break the second I got all the story stuff done and I got the maximum gratitude I could. And now I'm here, back to clean up. And that's basically my entire story talking about specifically Lost Belt number 3. It's a hell of a thing, man. I don't blame that guy either, by the way, whoever said that. I should have stood by my convictions and actually read what he said as opposed to just going, Oh yeah, you're right. It was very dumb of me. I blame no one but myself. Just like I blame only me if I did not kill uh, Scotty, not Scotty, uh, Cleopatra in that turn. I had no one else to blame but me. Ooh, some more wood. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm basically just grinding up the the, the stuff I need. Um, I don't know. But some people ask me specifically, how can you play so many gotchas? Because I do technically play two versions of Fago as well. Um, and the answer is, some of these gacha games don't require 24-hour attention from me, and that's how I'm able to do it. Um, for example, Fake Grand Order, I grind super heavy on. There's actually very few events, as long as you're keeping your shit together in Fake Grand Order, there's actually very few events you can't just beat in an, in an, in an entire day, is what I'm trying to say here. I, I, tried, to, I tried to say it, but I like porky pigged it at there at the end. Um... So what ends up happening is that I, all these like super hard events, with the exception of some very few ones, I actually just beat in a day or two. Um, some events that are super pains in the asses, I make sure to get done as soon as possible. Like this event, I made sure to do as soon as possible because I knew it was a very short window for me to get absolutely everything I wanted. Um, so I made sure to do that as quickly as possible. Uh, but some other events, like um, any other event, I usually just heavy grind it for like a day or two. And then, you know, just occasionally grind here and there in the beginning. So that's basically it. Let's see. Yeah, some more crit stars. And, stuff. Cool. Um, and that's for a lot of my events. And sometimes I just straight up skip some stuff. I think Fake Grand Order is the only event where I just get absolutely everything that I can uh, get. Um... The one, the other one that's not like that is, I guess I do that with Dokkan, but Dokkan's so stupid easy. I'm gonna have to. Oh, thank God, Scotty, you wonderful woman. Thank God for type advantage. Um, Dokkan, I technically do everything, but currently there's a fucking fat ass Majin Buu thing that you can grind, and the 777 medals shit takes forever and is super boring. Um, and Dokkan loads. <laughs> like the worst thing possible um so it's no fun for me really but usually like for for dokkan for instance the entire thing that i need for the entire month i can finish in like a, um, a day because the answer is once you fully awaken the unit there's not much stuff you can do if you're someone who just likes to play casually um super battle world sucks ass infinite goku event isn't the greatest because it specifically targets a specific type of event. Um, Fake Grand Order, funny enough, with its it, the way it just grinds all the time is the only one I can think of where I can easily just play and just kind of let watch watch something in the background and kind of get lost for a bit. I have no problem with just doing that for me personally. Oh man. Okay, so let me pick this up. I should be able to get some stuff. Now. Naruto, what? 
But yeah, for the most part, most of my gotchas are pretty easy to grind. There we go. Thank you for this foe. Let me see. I think I need more. I definitely need this. Thank you, Benny. Let me see. What else do I need? I think it's only the full stuff. No, no. Here's the stuff down here. Uh, I'll get those a little bit later. Man, yeah, that's the end of today's video. Everyone, I hope you liked it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Till happy grinding out there. Till next time. Bye-bye. I lost the damn internet again. Son of a bitch.